Today we're going to take a look at the ECS Elite Group P67H2-A2 motherboard. Uh, this is the Black Deluxe Edition. Uh, these boards typically have some uh, extra overclocking headroom for those who uh, are looking for the, the bang for buck. Uh, this board supports the new Intel Sandy Bridge LGA1155 socket processors. Similar features to last generation, uh, such as Easy Charger for uh, charging up your devices through the rear USB uh, ports. Also, uh, they've decided to upgrade the contacts uh, with gold contacts on the board. Uh, some cases that's a good feature for uh, optimal connectivity. Plenty of ECS software they've included, which include uh, ECS's uh, EOC overclocking. Uh, it's proved to be some decent software in the past, so one another one of the useful features. It also supports Crossfire X and NVIDIA SLI. So gamers, this is probably the one platform if you're looking to save a few bucks it'll work out for you. And of course USB SATA 3 and SATA 6. So we're going to pull this open, open this up real quick. Uh, on top here, this is the board package and antistatic. And we have lots of stickers. This uh, here's one of your stickers for for sporting uh, your two uh, PCI Express 2.0 slots. Uh, these are Gen 2s for your Crossfire and SLI. You have your SATA 3 and SATA uh, SATA 2 for that matter ports uh, here. Your LGA 1155 socket. And of course, supports up to 23, 2133 megahertz DDR3, and that's uh, handy for those that are overclocking because you're definitely going to want the memory bandwidth. Here we see some heat, uh, black series heat pipes, uh, uh, the heat sinks. This, uh, these you'll commonly see on the black series. If it's a black series, again, you know that's going to do some support some form of overclocking. Uh, there's an onboard L, little uh, LED here. This is useful for booting. If you have some issues uh, and the system hangs, you can use that to diagnose what might be the problem. Also at the very bottom are reset and power button. Two other useful features for those that have cases that don't commonly have those buttons included, like acrylic cases or modded cases. Uh, two standard PCI and one PCI Gen 1. Uh, the back here, we have two uh, blue set of uh, USB, I'm sorry, two USB 3.0 ports, uh, pretty standard. Uh, here we have some extra eSATA, of course, uh, look like combos as well for USB 2.0, dual, dual gigabit LAN. Uh, also on this board is a nice little, uh, another feature again, the CMOS clear buttons right here. So if you're doing some overclocking and the uh, system doesn't quite boot right uh, or fails to boot, you just hold that button in for a couple seconds, resets the BIOS. Inside we've got plenty of SATA, <laughs> SATA 2 or SATA 3 cables, whichever you might need. There's a total of 8 that have been included. A nice boost to the bundle and they're black. Also a external or uh, 2.5 extended uh, for USB 3.0 support. This plugs directly into the motherboard. right there and of course your standard uh, items you're going to need for doing uh, getting your game on you have your SLI bracket uh, your IO shield manual and your CD so again ECS aiming at the uh, gamers that don't have that do want a little extra something but don't have the full funds to buy the flagship motherboards. So that's where you'll find ECS uh, serving best. Thanks for watching.